Well, uh, I picked this up recently, and a, uh, uh, I'm a collector of uh, all firearms World War One, and this is one that I was lacking in my collection. This is the model 1892 Shamlal Dalvin French Ordnance Revolver. Cool thing about this one is this is first year of production, 1892. So you got two dates on there. That's the model. You've uh, seen the 1873s. They also have a model number stamped up here. And then the date of production. This is first year of production. And the neat thing about it is this is all original finish. You still can see some strawing on the uh, trigger and the hammer and the loading gate and uh, the original finish. And I've never shot this before. And a friend of mine just happened to have some uh, old Fiocchi 8mm LaBelle. So we're going to shoot this thing, see how it does. It's got one issue with this gun, and that's that it's not timed correctly. It's just a little out of time, so I'm going to have to make sure every time I cock it that my cylinder's lined up. But other than that, we'll see how, how it goes. Just doesn't completely index yeah. each time. <clears throat> Pretty got, stiff trigger. Steel. Huh? Pretty stiff trigger. I'm almost afraid to do it double action. It doesn't index. What's your opinion? Well, it appears to have the same action similar to a Webley. Are you sure that the final pulling of the trigger won't uh, index the cylinder the rest of the way? Yeah, one way to find out. Well, that's one way <laughs> to find out. <laughs> Not necessarily the best way. But you came through unscathed. Clink, I've saved you some uh, cartridges. Well, if you don't mind, I need to save at least one for the chronograph. Oh, yeah. Let's see this here. So you, uh, we have to pull this out to, how do you? No, just load it like regular. Mm -hmm. No, you don't have to load it. I know, but when you, but when you yeah, load it, then, then when you close it, it close it's locked gate. in. Yeah. Yeah. You just pull back the loading gate and that releases it. Yeah. And you said the indexing problems. No, you don't have an indexing problem. It's like the Webley. It's going to be loose, but when you pull the trigger, it, see, if I hold the hammer back as I pull the trigger, it rotates the cylinder the rest oh, of the way. Oh, well, there you go. So, and actually, it's got good, nice tight lock up, really. So, I have no issues with that. No issues at all. at all. No, this is fine. Fine indeed. Eight millimeter LaBelle. So, what were the, um, what's the weight, the bullet weight on these? Do you know? Do you remember from the? I don't. I don't know. Looks pretty I have some small. Original cartridge, original lead cartridges from the 1920s. I bet it's not much over 100 grains. Maybe 110 grains or something. I bet. We'll put that one through the chronograph then. Hmm. We've got one last one. We'll put it through the chronograph. Okay. Won't be an average, but it'll give us something anyway. All right. Eight millimeter 
the bell, model 1892. Oh, ho, ho! That's nice. That shoots very well. Mm -hmm. oh, the misses were my fault. Very, very nice example. We're gonna have to chronograph that one bullet. Uh-oh. Uh. -oh. uh you walk up there and turn that on. All right. Oh, rats. Well, we'll never know. Because <laughs> the chronograph didn't pick it up. We would be remiss if we didn't uh, oh. we didn't observe this uh, Chamelot Delvine 1873 French Ordnance revolver. Georgia uh, Arms. I have one of these as well. Mine's currently disassembled. I'm working on doing some refinishing on it. This is uh, one of my friends. Uh, if you've ever seen the movie The Mummy, you know, that's what your hero carries. Carries a brace of these. And he dispatches people with authority with him, but it really wasn't a very powerful, powerful round that it fired. It's a plenty strong pistol, but uh, it fired 11 millimeter French, and it was like a 170 odd grain bullet with 10 grains of black powder. It's very weak. But we had to show this ammunition that my buddy ordered. And looking around for a place to purchase, he found a company called. GADS custom cartridges. And they advertise that they uh, reload all sorts of obsolete ammunition to include the uh, 1873 French Ordnance revolver. So he bought a box, but in our in our opinion, it looks like uh, something my 10-year-old daughter reloaded. <laughs> That's the, that's the worst job of casting I've ever seen. And this is one of the good ones. <laughs> no, that's that's one of the bad ones. No, you've got some that are all leaned over. Where's the yeah, ones the, that are leaned over? No, the, the best, the ones that looked like you could actually shoot them and not be afraid were this one. Here's one. Here's a good example. <laughs> this Someone put his name on this. Uh, advertised yeah, over the internet and put his name on this. That's terrible. <laughs> I mean, it's lopsided. It looks like the mold he cast it from. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's just, that's a good one you're holding your hand. Look at this one. <laughs> How? It doesn't even look like they cast these. It look, look at that. I can pull it out with my hand. <laughs> look, at the, look at the lead smeared over it. Look, look, look at the offset of the bullet. It's like really... Uh, <laughs> The projectile. It's, it looks like they carved those bullets out by hand. <laughs> <laughs> look at look 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 at the offset. They made of the a projectile <laughs> itself. It's like the mold was not lined up right <laughs> when he closed it. It's like he's using a he's using a mold that is actually from 1873. <laughs> out of soapstone or something. I mean, that's these are awful. These are just awful. Uh, we're almost and they're they're it's a heel based bullet, so there's really not much. Of the bullet in the case, a heel base that has a, a, a rebated diameter heel that actually uh, fits inside the case. The rest of the bullet is the same diameter as the case and of the bore. It's an outside lubricated bullet. I have no idea what a, a real one looks like close up. I've never seen one. I've seen pictures and they're they're far better than this. We're almost afraid to load a cylinder full, afraid that recoil might actually kill the bullet. But he just fired one, said it was pretty diminutive in recoil, so. You're going to load up a cylinder and see what happens. The lopsided ones don't even fit. I 
I'm inspecting each round as I put it in to make sure it's uh, going to pull on it a little bit and make sure it's seated in there. I don't want any of these, the recoil to actually pull in any of these. That would be bad. Uh, see, that one's a little loose. <laughs> I'm not going to shoot that one. I'm going to shoot that one singly. Yeah, that one's fairly tight. That one's fairly tight. That one's fairly tight. That's <laughs> awful. <laughs> well, well, I'd like this to be an educational video to show what it would show like the, to, just show, show the, what it would uh, like to shoot a real. Just show the pistol itself. Don't worry about the target. But yeah, revolver itself. All right. Tell me when you're ready. I'm ready. Have at it. Very little, if any, recoil. It almost sounds like it's just a primer, which is something that actually worries me too. <laughs> I'd like to actually feel some recoil. Okay, it, I can feel the recoil. I can feel the bullet leaving the, the uh, leaving the muzzle. Counting correctly. Yeah, that sounds like a 22. <laughs> there you go. 1873 French Ordnance Revolver with uh, something I'm afraid to call ammunition. <laughs> oh my. Look how smoky oh my that goodness. is. How dirty that is. <laughs> That's terrible. Well, the good thing is we've got some cases we can reload now. Yeah. So that's about the only thing. What worries me is that he even make these right. They look good. Yeah. We'll do some research and we'll uh, make sure that these are good to go. And we'll be Boy, the, the cuts on these cases. There's burrs. We'll see if we can clean them up and make them right. Hopefully they, they'll yep. stretch. They, they made no effort to clean that up. It's like yeah. they cut it. Hopefully, hopefully they're dimensionally lengthwise. Yeah. Else. And they they, made they may have lengthened ever so slightly in the uh, chamber after they fired, but probably not. <laughs> no, I'm sure there's no stretching. 